redshirt junior defensive back, Jameer Johnson. We'll start with Mike and then go to Jack. How are we doing? Sorry, we're doing good. How do how the scrimmage go for defense yesterday, and how the scrimmages this fall uh, compared to the ones in the spring for you guys? Definitely, um, I think it went good. Um, making new mistakes. That's what we. That's what we. That's what coach is. Uh, Harnessed on just making a new mistake every day, um, getting better, just working on getting better. So I think it went good. Jack, on your left and then Seth. When you first met with the, the new coaching staff when they took over, or what was kind of their message to you in terms of how they envision your role playing out, what they want you to improve on, things like that? Mm-hmm. Um, really just uh, doing the details, everybody doing their 111, um, just capitalizing on opportunities, really. Yeah, he's he's a great coach, um, on and off the field, really. Um, definitely, he's put uh, we put trust in him. Um, him having us just in a, putting us in the right position to be successful, really. Daniel, on your left, and Zach. Yeah, I want to say you were recruited by one staff at mm-hmm. UT, right? Played for another one, played for a new one last year. What's maybe unique? What do you kind of like about the way that this staff has you know approached everything? Right. Um, it's obviously different. Um, getting used to different schemes, different formalities, um, different ways of talking, all that stuff, type of stuff. Um, but it's been it's been a, g- a good transition so far. Uh, on your right, Zach, and then Jet. So coming into this season, we expected to take more of a bigger role in the defense, the defensive back room. What's the biggest thing you've been working on this offseason to take that next step? Yeah, um, technique. Technique. My coach, uh, Coach Ozone, he's done a good job. Rallying all the corners around um, each other, and it's just the main focus has been technique and doing your job really. I'll stand right with Jed. What, are you doing? Um, what can you say about the not only the depth of, of the defense back room, but the team in general? Um, I think we're doing a good job. Uh, everybody's came together. We have a good connection in the room. Um, everybody just lifting each other up, even the younger guys. Um, everybody holding each other accountable. And that's been the main thing so far. Dylan and Dalton. When talking about the technique and what you've done over the offseason, what drills have really helped you improve at your skills? Um, I'll say all footwork drills. Um, getting our eyes in the right position. And then in the back end, it's all about communication as well. So communicating is a big thing for us right now. Dalton and then Nick. Last week, Coach Mary said uh, D'Angelo Pons is someone that everyone can learn from. What have you learned from him? Um, yeah, D'Angelo, that's my guy. Um, He's he's great. He's came a long way, um, developing. We all just trying to compete, really. So, just doing whatever I can, getting his ear, getting my ear, taking that you know criticism from each other. That's that's been the main thing for us. Uh, have you noticed any similarities between Coach Sig and Sark when you were at Texas, since they were both uh, under Saban at one point? Yeah, definitely. Just um, as far as professional um, winning. Winning, winning uh, formulas, you know, just everybody making sure we do get better every day. Every day is a work day, so we're not taking any days off and just taking it day by day. Back on your left, Mike, and then Seth. Yeah, just, um, I, I know you got injured early last year, but injuries kind of a problem throughout the years last year. Kind of, how did your season go in terms of, you know, trying to stay healthy? Was that a struggle last year? Yeah, I did. I, did, uh, I was hurt. I played only four games, so. Yeah. yeah, we just haven't. We didn't know kind of your status week to week. Like, what were you dealing with? Yeah, right. I had a cast. Um, I had surgery on my right hand, so yeah, that's really what that was. Was that your first kind of sur- big injury like that? Yeah, that was my first surgery ever. So, and how was it coming back from that? It was good. It was good. Uh, I played. I played the last season, the last game of the season, with the cast on. So, just I'm just glad to be back. What stood out to you about Sedarius Doss when you see a guy like that come up through the JUCO route and everything he's went through to get to this level? Is there any extra respect for something you know for the grind that takes? Yeah, definitely respect. Definitely respect. Um, he just flipping positions. Um, he's just like learning, or not really learning, but getting used to playing corner again. So just him getting back in the flow of things, I'm ex- I'm, I'm excited for him. Throughout some of the scrimmages so far this offseason, what have you noticed from some of the wide receivers who maybe has been the toughest to go up against? What have you seen from that group? Yeah, that group, um, I think they're one of the best groups in the country. Um, 
different body types, giving me different looks every week so I could be ready for the game, really. Nobody specifically, but. Yeah, with you know a pretty large roster migration um, this winter, why did you ultimately you know, stay? Stay at, at the program. Yeah, here. Uh, here. Um, I trust. I trust the process. Um, that's what has been my whole college career. Is like he said. Um, I dealt. I've dealt with coaching changes, um, and just taking taking the taking the risk of Coach Signetti. So I, I trust him. He trusts me. So definitely. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.